In the days of Caesar Augustus, there went out the decree that all the people of the world were to be taxed. And so saying, Joseph took his betrothed Mary to the town of Bethlehem, for she was the queen of Galilee and of the house of David. Well, since she was pregnant, he procured a donkey, and the three of them made their way to the little town of Bethlehem. But when they arrived, there was no place in the inns, the hotels, motels, or bed and breakfasts, so they ended up uh, spending the night in a stable. And lo, it was Mary's time, and a child was born, and they called him Emmanuel. Uh, as the shepherds brought their sheep into town to the stables, there they saw the child, and they were amazed. They had a little party and sang and danced, and the angels above heard it and joined in the festivities. Now there were three wise men. Some say they came from China, India, and Persia. They called them the Magi. They were astrologers and astronomers, and they followed the stars, and they saw a conjunction rising in the west. Some say they came across the desert, but I doubt that. I think they made their way to Yemen and came up through the lands of Sheba along the old uh, trading lines, for there was where they had the gold of Africa, the frankincense and myrrh trees, and they made their way up to the palace of Herod in Jerusalem, for they knew that a new king was to be born. Herod knew nothing of this king, you know, and he, being somewhat jealous of another ruler, declared that all children, all male children of less than a year's age were to be executed so he would have no rivals. Well, the three Magi followed the ascending stars, planets probably, and they made their way to Bethlehem. And there, in a stable, they found lying in a manger, the young Christ child, and they gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They told Mary and Joseph what Herod had decreed, and then they made their way back home by another route. Well, Joseph and Mary and the little baby Jesus decided that Judea was no longer safe. And they decided to flee refugees into Egypt. And as they made their way to the coast and south to Gaza, they were followed by Herod's soldiers on horseback and chariots. They had just come over the hill and could see the fortress of Gaza in the distance when Joseph looked back and saw the horses and chariots of Herod. He knew they would not be able to reach the fortress in time. So he and Mary and the donkey and the Christ child, they took cover in a cave along a hillside. Did you ever notice that it Every day, spiders make a new web. Well, there was a spider web in front of this cave, and of course, Joseph and Mary and Jesus and the donkey, they broke through the cobweb. And there they huddled in fear and terror, hoping that the soldiers wouldn't find them. The soldiers had seen the family, and coming over the hill, they dismounted and started looking for the four. One sergeant made his way and saw a cave. He was about to enter when the lieutenant said, Oh, no, see, there's a cobweb in front of that cave. They would never be in there. And eventually the soldiers went home. Well, Mary and Jesus and Joseph and the donkey, they made their way to Egypt and they stayed there for many years. And ever since that time, the little spider that made the web and saved the Holy Family has been found around Christmas time. And of course they find the Christmas tree a wonderful place to spend the night. Now you may not believe this story, but in Ukraine and in Germany they do. And for hundreds of years, when they put up their Christmas tree, 
they put tinsel on the tree to represent the uh, webs of the Christmas spider. <laughs>